what is up guys so another nighttime video so like every day it's been raining from uh, the time I wake up to the time I have to go to work so I'm just now getting off of work it's like four o'clock in the morning I'm out here doing razor stuff but uh razor stuff we are uh installing some new parts so you might have just got a glimpse of it but we got the razor up under the carport for some uh more upgrades so we have a HMF rear bumper that's uh, powder coated blue to match the rear trailing arms, the rock kickers and the uh, A arms and stuff. So that's going to be pretty sweet. Downfall. It's not really a horrible downfall, but we got to take this rear fascia off that covers up the exhaust. So. I'm kind of wondering when we do take it off what that exhaust cover is going to look like with it showing through the bumper so we're going to have to see about that and I also got my hands on a rear windshield for the Razor it's uh, tinted it looks pretty sweet I'm going to throw some polish on that thing because it's got a little bit of scuffs on it nothing real bad at all also I'm going to start on adding some stickers down there. So I'm going to add them all on the side of just the uh, brands that I run on the machine. And uh, and just for the companies that I like, it really don't have to pertain exactly to the Razor. But uh, I'll have stickers from you know, just people I like and stuff. So. so anyways, let's get to installing the bumper because I don't even think I'm going to install the windshield tonight. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to ride with it in the summertime. I think I'm going to wait for it to get winter. I will take y'all along maybe tonight or maybe in the next video. Put some of the stickers on it. I don't have all the stickers that I want yet. But uh put some of them on there. I think it'll look pretty cool. So uh, let's put this bumper on. I think this thing's going to be pretty sweet. So uh, it's pretty simple it seems how it mounts up. It's got two little feet down there that came with some bolts that will bolt up down there somewhere and then it's got another piece that comes out and it's got a bolt for it too so and on both sides but uh, it all looks good it is used I got it from a buddy actually the same person that I got pretty much all my suspension and uh, portals and stuff like that from so uh, I got that from him and uh, just like all the other parts that I got it's barely used I think there's one little scuff right there but nothing we can't touch up so let's see how we take this rear fascia off so it looks to be some push pins and then where did it go there it is some T I want to say 45s so uh, we'll get those and we'll pop that off and we'll check out the uh, exhaust cover and see what it looks like Cause you know, if it's dirty, we're gonna have to polish it up right. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it. Okay, so I found out something when I went to come check the size. So it is a uh, T40. I thought it was a 45, but it's a 40. Uh, it only had a push pin on one side and then it had a screw on the other. So I guess they messed that up at some point when they were putting it together. And it's crazy that I haven't noticed it because I have horrible OCD. Let's go ahead and get this rear fascia off. So it should be a total of six bolts, or either four bolts and two push pins, I'm not really sure. Alright guys, so we got the rear fascia off. And uh, it really it don't look too bad. Other than uh, it's just like stained up looking aluminum. I figured it would be a lot more dirty, but now that I think about it, I really haven't took this thing full on mud riding yet, so it's not going to be too dirty, which here soon, I'm not sure, uh, usually in the summertime we like to ride the creek and the river as much as possible while we have the time, because uh, you can only ride it so much out of the year. We'll be hitting the mud parks more in the winter time, but... I'm gonna polish this thing to make it look chrome. I think it'll look a lot better and it'll match more with the LNW5 arms and I plan to get some more billet stuff for it. But 
Well, that'll be in a later video. So let's break out some polishing stuff and I'll we'll see what we can make this thing look like. I think you'll be pretty surprised what we can do with that dirty looking aluminum. Alright, so the two things I'm going to be using to polish this exhaust. It's going to be a Never Dull Eagle One. I think I got this at Walmart. And then if that don't work good enough, we'll use this Mother's Mag and aluminum polish. This stuff has got to be the best stuff ever. Uh, this stuff. I tried it out last time on the uh, radius rods and it did really good. Uh, I need to do them again. But, um, works pretty good. So it's like some kind of little cloth foam material stuff. And then Mother's is like a white paste. So. We'll try the Never Dull first and see how it does. And if that don't work good enough, we'll go with the Mothers. So let's get to polishing. Alright, so we started using Never Dull, and I said, there's no way I'm about to use all this elbow grease when I have a buffer standing by. So we went ahead and used the Mothers. No, uh, I think it's going to look super good when we start wiping it off. Alright guys, so look at that difference. That is crazy. So, uh, it's not as much as I want it to be. I know, you probably think, dang, this looks a whole lot better. But, I'm going to go back over it with some uh, white sandpaper and then come back and polish it again. I'll do that off camera. But uh, pretty much all I'm going to do is just kind of wet sand a little bit on it to get some of these deeper scratches. Anywho, I just got to do it while it's off. I can't halfway do it. So, we're going to do that. Um, I am going to get an exhaust. Y'all help me find a exhaust that's a little bit quiet. Um, I don't want nothing crazy loud. I want it to be catless. But, um, yeah, I don't want it to be loud. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start doing this, and uh, I'll pop back up, and we'll look at this thing again and see how much better it looks. Hopefully y'all can see all these little bitty imperfections. We're going to try to take some of them out. Alright, guys, i got to run something by y'all. So, I was just thinking while I was sending this thing down, so you see the rough look. Okay, so I have this old LC Power Sports sticker. And I'm thinking about polishing all this back out and then laying this out there. I want to put the bumper up there to see where it's going to cover up. But put this up there, stick the sticker on while it's chrome, and then come back and do sanding again. And when I take the sticker off, It'll be like a chrome LC Power Sports. Should I do that? I don't know. Or would it just look more simple and better chrome? We're just going to polish the whole thing. This is definitely a cool idea, but the only thing that's really throwing me off about it is the sticker. I don't really like the font. We made these in a rush and don't even I don't even think I picked out the font. But, uh... Yeah, let's wait till we get a different font, and then we'll try that in a future video, so... You know, tell me what y'all think about that idea, and uh, I might end up doing it, but... Let's polish this thing out. But for real, guys... If it's a stupid idea, tell me. It won't hurt my feelings. But if you think it would be pretty cool... Just until I get another exhaust... To do that, let me know in the comments. Uh, these little brackets up under the exhaust have to come off because it wasn't letting the bumper go on in, which is a good thing because I thought they kind of looked stupid sticking out. And I didn't realize that you could take them off until like right now. So. Oh yeah, she's looking good. So, uh, let's start time out and I really don't think I can get y'all a good b-roll of this thing. So I'm going to wait until the morning, so... 
I will see y'all in the morning and I will also work on the windshield in the morning a little bit. So I'll pop back up and it'll be morning time. What's up guys? So back in the morning time. This thing is looking sweet. Looks great in the daytime. Uh, I'm probably about to get out here and wash this thing because I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's dirty looking. All I've been doing is spraying the mud and sand off of it and it's kind of starting to show. You can't really see it on camera too good, but it's just, it needs a good wipe down. All right guys, so check out this B-roll. And I will start working on the windshield next, maybe, if we have time. And, uh, man, this thing looks good. <laughs>